Hi, it's Kim from Expressions of the Universe with a special pick a card for all of you. You get to choose from six different cards. Card number one, card number two, card number three, card number four, card number five, or card number six. So go ahead and pick a card. See what it is that your soul, body, and mind need right now in this moment. What is the message that is waiting for you? If it's pertaining to love and romance, money and finance, health and prosperity, wealth and fortune, it could be behind any one of these cards. So go ahead and either pick a number or pick a card. I'll give you a moment and then we will move on. This is really perfect if anybody has missed one of my live shows or didn't get a card while you were in my live show. This is a perfect opportunity to use this video anytime that you need a little extra guidance even for a particular day or a period of time in your life. All right, so let's, let's move on. If you chose card number one, oh, I'm giving you an extra chance just to make sure that you picked your card. If you chose card number one, it is the Bone Collector. And her message is, you are whole and have everything you need within. When the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you are fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious in your expectations. Whenever we're wounded, especially when we're young, it is as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation similar to that original event. Kind of like, you know, when something or a particular person shows up in your life and it triggers you, it takes you right back to that place. It could even be a different person that is acting the same way that someone was acting when that original trigger occurred. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of that limitation. We may feel unworthy or without courage. We may see ourselves as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. The Bone Collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being. Limitless possibilities are around you. She has kept us safe with what has been stolen from us during that wounding. So the Bone Collector really put up a protection around those of us that have been wounded. And now she's here for us to reclaim what was ours that maybe we perceived has been stolen from us. We have everything we believe that we lack. And the Bone Collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need and you will find that you always had it after all. Anything is possible with awareness. The wounds of the past need not define you. And then also an additional message for this is the past has a way of repeating itself when we haven't learned the lesson of the original situation. You're faced with this now, could be. The Bone Collector challenges you to see yourself as a whole being 
and not one who is perpetually trying to heal an old wound. You'll repeat the past if you don't reclaim the things you believe were lost. The information you seek lies in your history. Familiar, familiarity, I can never say that word. Familiarity in this case isn't an invitation to dance the old dance once again. It's a call to retreat and choose differently. The bone collector has a message. If you do what you did, you'll get what you got. Her warning is delivered with kindness for she has deep love and respect for you and she will protect you. She's kind of like a old grandmother, I feel like. All right, so that is card number one, the bone collector. On to card number two. Card number two is the gentle gardener. And her message is, be your own person, be a conscious co-creator. The gentle gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality you experience. She is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation and ensures that all you are is reflected in the world of form. Are you aware of your thoughts? What is their quality? Believe in limitless possibilities and you will see miracles unfold. The gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world. Stay positive and expect a wondrous return. Your garden is abundant with beauty. Her additional message says, do you harbor resentments? How often do you reinforce negativity by affirming lack and limitation? Every time you send out a desire for something, but secretly harbor a belief that you're undeserving of it, you plant weeds in the field of your dreams. When the gentle gardener appears in the reversed position, which is not in this case, but there is a separate energy for all of these cards, She will be reminding you to be aware of any negative thoughts or selfish motives. She encourages you to step back and pay close attention to what thought seeds you send out into the world. Weeds choke the life out of your beautiful garden. No need to fret, however, because once you recognize this, you can always remove a bad seed and replace it with a healthy one. Forgiveness is your most powerful and restorative tool. So that's card number two, the gentle gardener. All right, on to card number three. The wizard of awareness. And his message is, your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This applies to the environment within you too. If you struggle inside of yourself, stepping into an observer position gives you a new powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now unencumbered by opinion or desire. Wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. Sorry about that, growling dog. I wonder if that's a sign. People come and go. Experiences evolve from one state to another in a continual shift and change no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The wizard of awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you are experiencing now. It's all good. 
let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from yourself. The additional message says, the wizard awareness comes to you in this position to warn you that too much force behind a desire for a specific outcome robs you of the true and full experience. Step back, take your energy away from your situation and focus on gratitude for the ever-changing conditions of life are constantly unfolding. Are you perhaps trying to control the outcome of something because you don't trust in your highest good? Meditate, be still, and your answer will come without any effort on your part. Be a neutral observer and you'll see how this moment is but a small marker on the map of your life's journey. All right, that's card number three, Wizard of Awareness. Card number four is Spirit of Place. And her message says, authenticity is the essence of power. Our ancient ancestors believe that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question, and then you can name it, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is your authenticity. The additional message here says, don't get entangled in the details or desires that obscure the truth of your situation. Step back and ask yourself, what is the real nature of my question? Even exquisitely seductive hidden agendas cannot conceal this. Trust your intuition. The spirit of place is whispering in your ear. You hold the power to tell the truth, first to yourself, then to the world. You can always distinguish between an essence that is true and one that is synthetic. Be honest with yourself and remain willing to let your situation be revealed for what it really is and not what you want it to be. An apple cannot become an orange, just as a dog can never be a bird. Are you trying to change someone or something to suit your agenda? Only when you see things as they truly are, will you find the real treasure. And that was card number four, Spirit, Spirit of Place. Number five, goblins. And the goblins message here is, fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. And the message here says, goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There, they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you are lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's 
and that they're leading you into a potentially, potentially reactive situation. A goblin card appears, I'm sorry, the appearance of the goblin card is an opportunity for growth. However, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of any negativity. The additional message here says, it's often difficult to deal with someone else's issues because they impact your own. No one is perfect, but in some cases, we could be particularly vulnerable into being manipulated. Don't take this world personally. When the goblin card arrives, it's a sign to step back with detachment. Don't let yourself or other people's stuff lead you into reacting from an old wound. Love yourself unconditionally. Set boundaries and your goblins will fall asleep. Love is the only answer. And that was card number five. All right. The last and final card, card number six, is the mountain. And the mountain's message says, you have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. This is the time to adapt. And the message says, sometimes you will come across what appears to be an insurmountable obstacle, like a huge mountain that separates you from your success. You might think that climbing it or chiseling away at it is the answer. But why take such a treacherous, tedious approach? Be like the rivers that flow around mountains naturally. You'll move past this obstacle relatively quickly if you choose the easy way around. This is the time to adapt to your circumstances. If you decide to climb, remember to take it one step at a time opting for the right action and tiny baby steps. The additional message here says, there is an obstacle in your question somewhere. This is not the time to move forward possibly. Wait a while, be patient, and a way around the mountain will be revealed. Pushing forward isn't in your highest good all of the time. Don't try to climb too high to grasp the prize that seems to be out of reach. Because it is, for now, anyway. If you exceed your limits, you'll find yourself tumbling down and you'll get hurt. Remain open to a new possibility rather than, a stubbornly, for, rather than stubbornly forging ahead. Sometimes we just have to Step back and take a minute and wait for the perfect opportunity so that we can see that other way around. We don't have to rush anything at this time if you feel that there is an obstacle in your path. And that is all I have for you at this time. I just wanted to let you know this is the deck that I was using for this reading. It's the 10-year anniversary uh, Enchanted Map Oracle Deck by Colette Baron reed And be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, and my website, expressionsoftheuniverse.com. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Hopefully you like this. If you did, share it with your friends. Let them pick a card. Comment me, tell me what card number you picked if you like. Let me know what you thought about this new and different format. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. See you back on my channel. Bye.